Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this little fall makeup glam for you guys. This is like a very easy all matte kind of look. Um, it's using the Shayla ColourPop palette. I think that it's just a good like fall vibe in type of look. Orange lids, brown lips, and you're good to go. Orange lids, brown lips. I feel like that should be the title of this video. But anyways, I show you all the products and if you want to see how to get this makeup look, then keep on watching. Okay. Hey. Um, so you already know today we're going to be doing a fall inspired glam. Ready for that pumpkin patch moment picture I've got you I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the LA girl pro prep this is a new item in my collection but it's quickly become a go-to product for me Let's see yeah. You guys know I've been loving this one, the Milani Screen Queen. Um, I don't know what it is about this foundation, but it just kind of does it for me. concealers I'm gonna combine these two both very affordable options I haven't but this is what we're going with and the Catrice one this is in the shade hazelnut beige it says waterproof non-transfer um, I feel like I've worn it before but honestly I don't remember like if it was good and I like to use a pink although like I said I haven't used it in a while I used to always love get using a pink to kind of help with canceling a little bit of the color. A little bit of the color. And then going in with our regular one. And this one here, she's a thick one. So be careful. Because she is thick. Okay, and then for setting of the face, I'm going to go ahead and take my, lo my lovely hourglass veil powder. You guys already know this is a must-have for me. And to set the rest of the face, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury yada, yada, yada. You already know what it is. These are... Okay, so I'm actually going to take the two Shayla palettes. I talked about this in my last video, but this is such a good fall palette. It has all the warm tones, all the shimmers, all the nice fall feels or fall vibes. And what I want this one for is this one has some more of the basic colors. So it has, you know, the matte cream, the, the black here, this and this yellow which I really so taking caution I'm just gonna go ahead and buff that into the crease
love a good yellow. You know what? I don't think if it's even just fall, just a good yellow is always good. You can't go wrong with it. It's always good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take, I'm going to take this color here, which is called Revenge, this corner color here. And you want to get a smaller brush because the first, the yellow is kind of fanned as our buffer. And then you want to start with smaller brushes that aren't going to buff into all of that, but that you can have a little bit more control of and you can do a little bit more with. And so for me, that's just this a smaller brush right here. And I'm just going to start by like tapping it on the outside. And we're going to be building it towards the inside. And what I definitely want to do is like a matte, a matte eye. Maybe add a little halo to it. And halo just means, for those of you who don't know, it just means that you leave this middle part here empty and you shade in inner corner, outer corner. That's all that means. Here we are blending, blending, blending. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this orange, which is called Thick. Cause we like them thick. I mean, thick ain't a bad way to go. And now I'm gonna add this color, kind of to blend out that darker color and towards the middle. Cause I do want, uh, I guess, I guess we want a gradient. I didn't know I wanted a gradient until now, in my defense. And that's okay if we like cover up the middle, it's not a problem. We don't have. <laughs> gradient happening and so for that I want to make sure I add a bit of this cream and this is the color proceed which honestly I like this packaging better than the cardboard one but you know that's neither here nor there so let me show that <laughs> can see there's like no real precision here. I'm just kind of tapping this along the edges there. And I think we're good with our eyes. Now I know makeup with eyeshadow it always looks crazy at first and then it all kind of flows together when it comes to the liner and the lashes. Um, so let's move on to the liner. And today I'm using the La the Beauty Bakery eyeliner. Boom. Y'all saw that? Smoothness. And for those of you who don't know anything about the Mape Ups, Practice makes perfect.
Wow. That is one eyeliner. Okay, I think we're pretty good on this eyeliner. Let's zoom back out because I think y'all have had enough of my uh, up close and personal space. So let's do the rest of our face. So moving on quickly, these are the three products. This is all about the eyes. You want you want that summer 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 set? Uh, this is the Silky Matte Suntan bronzer from Milani. I actually really like this. So let's put it all over our faces. for like a very brown look because we like a brown look and so this is one of my all-time favorite blushes this is the Lorac cinematic buildable blush it is matte and this is you guys see it like even though it's a brown it still has like a pink flush to it and it just looks great I don't know and for like winter ooh baby fall Give me all the monochromatic looks, because I am here for it. Maybe I'm here for it a bit too much, but she's so good. Now for highlight, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter in Mesmerize. There is a whole video on my channel with a review of her products. If y'all want the deets, go check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna just dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. <laughs> like this highlight it's just so seamless and like cute and then for a little bit more pizzazz pizzazz pizzazzle pizzazzle plus whatever moon glow the nyx high glass and moon glow this is one of my favorites oh it's so good i remember when i first got it i really wasn't like a fan of the price but honestly it's just so good it's so good. It's so good. That's all I can say. Okay. And this has like a little bit, um, like it's not a powder. It's like a cushion. It's like a jelly. Like it's, I don't know how to describe it without just sounding like a total idiot. But there we have it. Mm-hmm. Cheekbones? Where? Where are the cheekbones? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes off camera because that's boring. Y'all don't want to see that. And we'll be back to finish it off with some lips. All I did was add some falsies. These are the House of Lashes lashes. And um, all I'm doing is just making sure I'm blending this yellow. And I'm pretty good with the blending, I think, now. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, for fall, there's a, definitely a lip combo that I love, and it's a dark lip liner with an orange lip. And so Havana, not Havana, Ofra's Kathleen Lights Miami Fever is an iconic one. And then the other one that I have with me is Secreto by ColourPop X Becky G. So we're just going to jump right into it. But as long as you have like an orange and any dark brown, this one's the ColourPop BFF2, BFF4. Pfft, I'm off. And I'm gonna go ahead and, actually I'm gonna go with Secreto because I think you could probably find this more so then the uh, Kathleen Lights one. I 
feel like I went a little bit overboard with this lip liner situation. Like, my lips are not these big. They're just not. Um, but there's just light overlining. It's not a big deal. You're not going to know. So let's go ahead and set it. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Rare Beauty Setting Spray. And we're just going to douse ourselves. And this smells nice. Which is cool. Got it all over my hair as well. Anyways. Um, and I highly, highly recommend both of these palettes. I love them. They're really good. And really, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All the good stuff down below. If you have any questions or any requests, leave them down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check me out on my social media, Time with Brenda. You guys already know. Um, and I'll catch you on the next one.